keyboards here, guitarjams.com. I've got a fairly easy but really cool sounding acoustic uh, lesson for you, a way to spice up your playing a bit, maybe spark some new ideas. Um, basically all I did was one concept with one of the first chords everybody learns is a D major chord. So right there, D major chord, yeah. And also I've got the website guitarjams.com. You can go over there and check it out, DVDs, you can try it for free for three days. I have, um, the lessons are all organized from beginner to advanced and different styles. It's uh, really helpful, so you can go check that out. Plus it's funding um, these free lessons. Okay, so we take this D major chord. Whoa, I almost dropped my guitar, that would be bad. So a D major chord, right? And this is a concept I've, I have in other videos, but if you move that, just the just the notes that your fingers are on, if I moved it up a whole step, it's an E major chord. It actually goes up a letter. And then E to F in all of music is a half step. So if I move this D chord up a half step, it's now an F major triad three note chord. If I move it up another whole step, it's a G chord. Another whole step, it's an A chord. Another whole step, it's a B chord. And then B to C is a half step in music as well. So I move that up a half step, now I have a C chord. So you can substitute your regular chords with this D shape, and it's really great when you're playing with another guitar player. Like if one guy's playing this G chord right here, you could take this D chord, D, E, half step to F, whole step to G, and I can play this one instead. Same chord. And they complement each other really well. But here's a little kind of uh, embellishment concept off of that. So if I took this D chord, and this is also going to be called a, a D inversion. You can play this instead of a D chord. What I'm going to do is we're not even going to play the high E right now. We're not going to worry about it. I'm going to take our middle finger and we're going to put it on the third fret of the B string. Just fooling around with you. Um, then index is going to go on the second fret. Really pay attention to the fingers. Middle on the third of the B, index on the second of the G. Those two notes are the same from the D chord. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my ring finger on the fourth fret of the D. Aha! That makes it different. So we're not playing the root in the bass anymore. And if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. It's just a cool D chord. But then what I like to do is instead of just with my index finger playing the second fret of the G, I'm just going to kind of bar this little cluster here of the, you know, high E, B, G, and D. And I get my middle finger right there. And then what I can do, that enables me to hammer. Oh. It enables me to hammer that fourth fret of the D string and get kind of a Hendrixy kind of sound. But then I can also hammer the G string as well as an embellishment. And this is all just a really cool sounding D chord. In fact, if I drop, go into drop D, you'll hear And when you're barring it, you can get the high E in there. You can add your pinky right here to the fifth. And then you can even get figure out a way to get the third fret of the high E. But look, if I take that concept with the D chord, and then I move it up to where, let's say, my index finger is on the seventh fret, middle's on the eighth, rings on the ninth, for the G chord, and then up a whole step for the A chord. Now you have just the basic one, four, five, but with uh, a really cool sounds, all right? So I'll do one time, um, just, you know, basic concept. So we got D. To G. Back to D maybe. Let me 
zoom in and I'll just so you can just kind of look at what I'm doing. I'm just improvising, but like taking very easy basic chords and making them way more expensive sounding as I've used in old videos. So here we go. Check this out. Keep going, keep playing, I know you can do it. Anyway, that's it. Maybe you got something from that. Hopefully you did. Guitarjams.com. Love to have you come over there and say hi. And uh, yeah, we'll get some more free lessons coming your way. See ya.